Hi, my name is Megan, and I'm here to talk about the game between Purdue and Michigan State, January 22nd, where Purdue topped Michigan State. They The score was 86-76, and this was a game that Michigan State really felt they needed to win because they've suffered a lot of really, top, uh, a lot of really tough losses, especially in the Big Ten, and they really wanted this win. Unfortunately for them, they couldn't get it. Purdue won the game 86-76, to but... At the beginning of the game, it looked like it was going to be a lot closer. Both teams were playing really well, shooting really well. For a while, they were trading three-pointers. And what Michigan State really had going for them was that they're great on the boards. They know how to rebound the ball, and they get a lot of offensive rebounds. Purdue only had one offensive rebound in the first half, but they were shooting over 60% from the floor. And when you're shooting over 60% from the floor, you can afford to give up a couple offensive rebounds because you're shooting so well. The last time the game was tied was 26-26 with about five minutes in the first half. And then Purdue pulled away, and by the end of the first half, they were up by 10. In the second half, it looked like Michigan State was going to come back. They managed to cut the lead to only six, but then Purdue really pulled away. The stars of the, of the game for both teams, Draymond Green for Michigan State, he shot great from three-point land. He really kept his team in the game, even when it looked like it was – like they were going to lose. And he was the reason that they were still in, they could still fight and they still had a chance. But Etwan Moore for Purdue had a great game, 26 points, 19 of them in the first half. He played great. He really willed his team to a victory and just had a really great game. Uh, at the end of the day, Purdue won by 10 points, mostly because they were playing at their pace and they were shooting really well from the floor. By the end of the game, they were shooting 58%, while Michigan State was only shooting 44%. So big difference there. And also, Purdue only had nine fouls during this game, which meant that Michigan State didn't go to the free throw line very much. And the free throw line is a great place to win games. And it helped Purdue out a lot because... Michigan State fouled them 24 times. A lot of those fouls were at the end of the game so that Michigan State could get the ball back. But they shot way more free throws, and both teams shot over 70% from the free throw line. But because Purdue shot more free throws, they got more points. Um, Michigan State never really found their niche. They rushed shots a lot. They really um, should have probably taken more time. It was when they got that extra pass that they started taking good shots. They also did really well when they tried to get the ball in the center of the paint. That was really successful for them, but they never really found their niche, whereas Purdue was playing at their pace, playing their basketball game. Still a really well-fought game by both teams. In the end, Purdue comes away with the win, 86-76. Thanks for watching.